readings why I think Daniela Levine Cava is incompetent to be reelected as mayor of Miami-Dade County and using my own business as an example, I hope to explain how she's pushing me into bankruptcy where she to uh, get this uh, uh, gigantic voter bond issue approved uh, to bail out her own sinking ship. Um, so uh, l let me start with myself. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm, one could say, well, who cares if Jackson or Poems goes bankrupt, right? Uh, but the thing is that uh, we're talking about, so I own, I own a retail property in Coral Gables, small property. Uh, and the biggest expense is the taxes, um, uh, of which the county taxes are the biggest piece. Um, now she wants to do a bond referendum and, uh, that will increase my taxes, which are already the biggest expense that I have, uh, by whatever it is. I haven't done all the number crunching, but it, it, it would, you, any of you who have businesses that are listening to this, you know, that, um, the profit loss margin is actually quite thin, right? Uh, we, none of us are rich and rolling in money. Uh, those who are maybe are taking advantage of something, but most of us are just eking out an existence. So if suddenly our expenses go dramatically up, there goes our profit margin, which means uh, if we can't solve this problem, we're gonna end up bankrupt. And um, the, the problem for her is, <clears throat> since it's the, the property owners that pay uh, taxes, right? Uh, she is bankrupting, or prospectively, bankrupting uh, business properties throughout the county. Um, raising, dramatically raising their taxes um, and killing their profit margin and then killing the, the very taxpayers that she depends on, the county needs uh, to stay solvent. Um, and um, I, I don't think she's ever been qualified. It, it's really incredible to me that she would take this step um, and, uh, I don't think she's going to change. And I think Manny Sid, the mayor of, um, Miami Lakes, who I, I don't know well, but if he's mayor of Miami Lakes, uh, he's, he ain't no, um, MAGA crazy as, uh, one of her campaigners suggested to me last night. Um, Miami Lakes was founded by the Bob Graham Democrat uh, family for Manny said to have uh, made it in as mayor of Miami Lakes means that um, he is probably progressive. Uh, he's responsible. He ain't no MAGA crazy. And um, and he's just saying all the things that I'm thinking, right? Which is she's not in touch with reality. And it's not, I'm trying to pick on her. It's just that I'm trying to survive. And um, now I want to talk about for a second, because I, I, I said to myself, is it possible she's driving the whole county into bankruptcy? Like if we remember Detroit, Michigan went bankrupt. Uh, and so I read through that on Wikipedia, which is part of this uh, uh, tweet or post on X. And, um, there are big differences. Detroit, um, the, the, over, over the decades, let's say from 1970 to 19 to 2013, when, it, when it declared bankruptcy, um, it, um, 
the population dropped from like 2 million to 700,000. And uh, there was uh, so-called white flight. So, you know, the rich people moved out to the suburbs and so on. They, uh, I, I don't know whether the auto industry was part of the problem, uh, but um, we certainly haven't seen a drop in population. We've, we've seen an increase in population. Uh, so maybe this isn't Detroit bankruptcy territory where the whole county goes bankrupt. Uh, but it, I don't know if you can see, though, that it's it would be starting to slide in that direction because um, if she bankrupts the business properties who are the tax biggest portion of the taxpayers, then uh, she's killing the county's tax base. Do you, do you follow what I'm saying? If there's no taxpayers, there's no ta there's no taxes, and so the county goes under because it's killed all the taxpayers, so to speak, financially speaking, right? Um, so I think that's the picture, and um, you know, uh, if we see bankruptcy being caused by Daniela Levine Cava, and she doesn't. Uh, care to learn. She she just wants to be the, I'm sorry to say this, I apologize, but the big baby who says, well, we're going to do it my way. And even if it's the wrong way, and even if I'm driving the taxes up, which will bankrupt the businesses who pay the taxes, uh, I mean, this is just totally irresponsible. Um, and it's, it's, it's become hubris on her part. It's become arrogance. Um, so what is my conclusion? Uh, maybe she's not driving the, the county bankrupt, uh, for a few years, but she's pushing in that direction and it's time to, uh, for, for us to change mayors so that this, the, she doesn't, we're not the county of the sinking ship, the, the new Titanic. She's sinking our ship, so let's change captains.